Ada for tricking my ex into admitting to her affair. Pretty much title. I felt like something was off so I went through her phone and found messages between her and a male friend that seemed suspect, discussing meeting up when she'd never mentioned it to me, flirting, talking in coded language about sex, etc. There was nothing overt, but still pretty sketchy. I figured she'd just lie and bury things deeper if I confronted her, and she was actually cheating, so I set up a fake Instagram account and sent her a message saying I knew she was fugging her friend, had the receipts, and was going to contact her partner in three days whether or not she confessed. The next day she sat me down and admitted to cheating, but wouldn't tell me who it was or how long it had been going on. She was sorry, she loved me and wanted to make things work, it meant nothing, blah blah blah. I told her that I already knew, and that it was me who had sent her the message. My ex lost it and I had to leave the apartment and go stay with a friend to get away from her. She was gone along with most of her clothes when I came back the next day. She'd completely trashed the place while I was gone. This all happened a few weeks ago and it has been pretty tough ever since. It sucked having to find a new place to live and separating our stuff while dealing with feeling like shit. To make it worse I'd met the guy several times, shaken his hand, bought him a drink, thought he was harmless, etc. Mostly I feel like an idiot for having trusted her. I've never cheated on anyone and I assumed my ex was cut out of the same cloth. My ex is adamant that I'm an a-hole for what I did to her, but I don't really feel like I owe her anything. I dunno, am I the a-hole here? Update. So I think my original post must have been shared on Facebook or something, because my phone has been blowing up. It's mostly mutual friends and acquaintances asking if I posted it, I'd told a few people about how I'd caught her cheating and I guess it wasn't hard to put two and two together. My ex also tried to call me about a hundred times. I know she knows my throwaway username because she sent me a screenshot of the post along with a long, abusive message threatening all sorts of things. I blocked her everywhere after that. I want to clear a few things up. Going through her phone was wrong, I get that. To be honest it's the first time I've ever done anything like that in a relationship, and it was only because there were so many things that gave me bad vibes, e.g., late nights out with vague explanations, being caught in various lies, sleeping with her phone under her pillow or leaving it face down on the charger, etc. I left the apartment because my ex has a history of violent histrionics when she doesn't get her way. I didn't want to put myself in a compromising situation where she could either hurt me or make up stories about me hurting her. I had a bug out bag packed and ready to go before I hit send on the message just in case. She didn't do any real damage to the apartment, just threw my stuff around while having a tantrum. It took a few hours to clear up and nothing valuable was damaged, so I figured it was easier to just let it slide. I had to stay in contact with her while we divided up our joint finances, furniture, and various other stuff accumulated over a four-year relationship. As of yesterday that's all done, which is why I waited several weeks to make the initial post. She is now blocked everywhere. Yes, I took the cat with me. We've both been crashing at my friend's place while I look for a new apartment. He's doing great. He was always my pet anyway, my ex tolerated him, at best. I told my ex that I was the one who sent the message because I wanted her to know. I suppose I could have played that hand differently, but I wanted the satisfaction of seeing the look on her face when she found out. It didn't feel that great in hindsight, I'd probably go back and do that differently if I could. I wasn't planning on airing her dirty laundry on social media, does Reddit count, because I wanted to be above that sort of juvenile bull's hid, but it seems like the horse has bolted on that now. People know. I don't think there'll be much else to update on after this, I don't intend to ever speak to her again, and I doubt her ugly little man has the backbone to come after me. Jay, I know you're reading this. I hope you also read all the comments in the first post, they were savage. You're disgusting, and I am so glad I was able to see your true colors before I wasted any more of my life on you. Good luck with the pathetic goblin you chose over me, I don't know if I should feel more sorry for him or for you. In any case, people of your quality deserve to be together. Oh, and a, she's all yours now buddy. Good luck with that.